It's funny. Even though we live in a culture that is saturated with constant sexuality and advertising and on TV. Take me, Mr. President. We seem to have a lot of issues talking about our bodies, and more specifically, about our genitals. So instead of talking about them, we come up with cute nicknames like Hoo-Ha, Special Friend, Funbox, Dong, and my personal favorite, Disco Stick. Is it just me, or does it seem like we've come up with a whole lot of ways to get around having to talk about our bodies? It's weird when you think about it, because we all have them. Your dad has genitals, your mom has genitals, my grandma had genitals, pretty much everyone has genitals of some kind or another. But why can't we talk about them? Are we worried that we're going to incite mass panic just by saying the word penis? Or that somehow we're going to destroy the moral fabric of our society by admitting that vaginas exist? Here's the deal. A lot of the prejudice that trans people face is because we live in a world where it's shameful for everyone to talk about their relationship with their genitals. Which means that for trans people, it can be even more difficult to talk about the times that our bodies don't quite feel right. So dang it, let's talk about our vaginas and let's talk about our penises. The sooner we learn to do that, the more easily we can build a world where all people, trans folks included, are able to have a more honest relationship with our bodies. Genitals, what are they good for? Quite a lot, actually. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.